Good morning. I'm happy that you've come to a place that I enjoy coming. It's called Inspiration Peak. Inspiration Peak is one of the highest places in the state of Minnesota. It's located in Ottertail County, and one of our famous writers in our country, Sinclair Lewis, once visited here. For Minnesota's Nobel Prize winning novelist, Sinclair Lewis, Inspiration Peak more than lived up to its name. From its bald top, he wrote, quote, there is to be seen a glorious 20 mile circle of some 50 lakes scattered among fields and pastures like sequins fallen on an old paisley shawl. Now Sinclair Lewis was a man of letters. There's no question about it. He learned the art of storytelling. Let's go on. Praising the enchanting peace and seclusion of this place for contemplation, Lewis at the same time chided Minnesotans for not knowing about their own haunts of beauty and added that he might write the governor, asking his excellency if he has ever stood on Inspiration Peak. Have you ever stood on Inspiration Peak? Well, today you're going to. It's a beautiful day this morning. There's not a breath of wind and we're going to take you up to Inspiration Peak and we're going to go one step at a time. Come along. We've got to get up now. I don't know. There are there, there could be lions and tigers and bears here. In fact, there's a bee buzzing right there, just standing right there. That's very interesting. All right, here we go. Come on. Now I know, I know there's a bench where we can actually rest if you kind of get tired going up this hill. I'm starting to have to breathe a little bit. Just a little bit. So we're on our way up to the top. How do you get to the top? How do you become good at what you do? The only way that I know of is to persevere. Do you realize that Sinclair Lewis's first five novels he considered failures? He was learning the craft and he did not know that he did not know that those particular books were not that good. But he kept on, he kept moving, he kept taking steps. He was going to a higher level. So far, no lions, tigers, or bears. Mosquitoes, though, mosquitoes are here. Let's go, come on. You're gonna be in for a treat because the top of Inspiration Peak on a beautiful morning like this, we're gonna be able to see 20 miles in every direction. And we're gonna be, like I said, at one of the highest places in the state of Minnesota. Ho, oh, a bench. I think I'm gonna sit down for a moment and just enjoy this incredibly beautiful morning. It's a morning to be thinking about things that are really important, like literacy. And here we are. This is the top of Inspiration Peak. This is where you can see lakes in every direction. 20 miles this way, 20 miles this way, 20 miles that way. And it's an absolutely incredible and beautiful morning. And of course, the reason I'm taking you here, the reason I want you to appreciate this place is because this is the journey that you're on. You are on a journey where you are trying to get to the top. And the only way we can get to the top is we start with those first initial steps. I am hoping that you will understand that higher level thinking skills happen because we want to go there, we want to go higher, but we also get there by taking one small step at a time. That's what this lesson has been all about. And I'm hoping that you will concentrate and work and help, help your teachers and help yourself by becoming the very, very best wordsmith that you can possibly become. Thanks for coming along on the journey. It's been an incredible field trip. We hope you enjoyed it.